Now I shall introduce the final speaker for this forenoon session, Dr. Marina Pierlo Casola, a senior lecturer in design, head of industrial design and product development at the Università Politecnica di Valencia since 2010. Dr. Marina has a background in fine arts, sculpture, PhD at Architecture School of Università Politecnica di Valencia and a master in communication and graphics design. She has led several research projects with financial support in the areas of inclusive design, accessibility, products for public use, communication, education, and culture interpretation. Author of books, articles, and paper published in international magazines and congresses, she has been the chair of different symposiums and seminars on urban furniture design and management, design in small companies, and industrial design and crafts design. Currently, she focuses her research in the integration of design as a key instrument in education and a quality factor while designing the commons and promoting social inclusion. In this sense, her team has been working in design projects for the public space and in the design of supports that facilitate the availability of more sustainable and inclusive learning resources. Let us now proceed to Dr. Marina's presentation. Good morning, my name is Marina Puyuelo. I am a senior professor at the Universitat Politecnica de Valencia in Spain. I am going to talk about rethinking life outdoors. It is a pleasure for me to participate at the International Conference on Built Environment, Science and Technology. And I, I also share the aim of being catalyst of innovation with my work on the built environment. I'm going to share this presentation because I think with all these images, it would be easier to communicate while well, the meaning of and also being inspirational to students and all participants. Uh, so um, we will start um, just showing the, the main title of the paper, I think in life outdoors design and innovation in public spaces in times of social distancing. And for me it's important to tell you that was was difficult for me to choose the theme of sub theme and at the end it was it was just comfort outdoors and a smart city and well maybe it could fit in, in different different things of the conference. Well, the first thing I would like to, to, to talk about is that I come from Spain. It's the Universitat Politecnica, is the, you can see it in this image, is a, well, it's a big university, technical, um, famous in Spain. It's around 30, 45,000 people between st staff and students. And we are in Valencia. Valencia is from Chennai, from India, around 15 hours. You can see here in this map. And while Spain is uh, on the south of, of Europe, as you can see here, and while well, in particular Valencia is on the seashore of Mediterranean Sea. And I want you to, to show you some pictures, some some short pictures about our city because well we are talking about cities and so I think it's it's interesting just to to see what from from where we are. In this case this is our one of the main landmarks in Valencia is the cathedral the the big tower that is called Micalet and is very famous in, in Valencia, of course. And uh, another landmark that is very famous internationally is the City of Arts and Science because it's from Santiago Calatrava, an architect who was 
an architect was, that was uh, instructed in at the Universidad Politécnica de Valencia, and it's a Valencian one. You can see here the Opera House and the Max, and also you can see here other other part of these monuments. You can see the scale of this one. This is the Opera House, and this is the 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 oceanographic another part of the of the of this of this city and um, well in this case it is it is a um, main objective to sh to let you s to see the people and um, its activities their activities and this case is giving life to the city and this is the marathon in 2019 two years ago before the coronavirus of course in in valencia you can see the color and the live, lively that people gives to the to the landscape. And well, uh, we can start, of course, giving thanks to the School of Architecture and Interior Design that invites me to to participate uh, with you uh, to stay to stay here with you. Uh, the objective of this talk of this speech will be um, to give some idea of the role of design on the quality of the public space to share some insights about the smart city uh, some challenges triggered by the covid pandemic uh, that is changing everything outside and inside also but outside a lot there are a lot of changes and learn about critical design approach that could be very useful for our inspiration and for all, for the students and also for, for the professors. Uh, the structure of this presentation is uh, starting with, uh, with what some, some ideas about public space and outdoors life, uh, following with public space and some design issues, ergonomics and comfort outdoors, what is comfort outdoors, designing limits if we need more or less at the public space nowadays and some some draw, draw some conclusions at the end uh, well the main the main thing is to 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 constantly make us ourselves some questions and in this case i i asked you what defines the public spaces and what is collective use i think everybody knows what is that the built environment is a result of the interaction between people, the forms they inhabit, and well, the way we introduce and we share all that, all the experiences, culture, how we move, how we enjoy, how how we live out, outdoors. And so, well, there is an author, a black that I love, uh, his definition, and is. And, and he said that it's universally organized by the orders of form, place, and understanding. And well, public design will be all the all the design that has a relation with these public places as context of actions of living uh, outside. Well, um, I, I like to start with this image of Valencia's beach at the beginning of the 20th century because, well, I think it's lovely with people, it looks uh, something quiet, something relaxing, something respectful and, well, it's, it's something that has a lot of of things in common with the image nowadays that is also for relaxing, enjoyment, summer holidays and tourism. But maybe, well, we are sharing the same needs, but it's, there is something different about the way we use the space, the way we uh, introduce a lot of things or, or, or requirements to, to the use. And well, what is about public space, also culture and heritage? Cities are sites to to keep the history and to share them with the with the visitors. In this case, is the Plaza Navona at Rome, and I love the Bernini sculpture that people from Europe, everyone wants to go to Rome because it's so great, so artistic. 
And also, well, the city life is also about greeting, uh, green spaces, life that they are valuable for relaxing, to take fresh air, to play. And well, in this case, we are watching something very artific artificial in New York. That is the this big, big park at the core of a city, a big city like this one. And it's always green and clean and perfect in, his, in its state. Well, also it's important to talk about the facilities we we have at the cities. In this case, well, this this child floating at the city of art and science in Valencia, well, is something that well is important for living and enjoying outside. But everything is not positive at the city. We, we know that there are so many different approaches that can be different ways to show and to see and to perceive the city. Well, another one would be this one, the city of traffic and pollution, stressing, always threatening nature and, and healthy life. And also, also producing garbage as a main result that sometimes is being the most the most um, painful or the most uh, problem in many places in India also is a is a huge huge problem and um, well the city is also the place of the unknown where alienation estrangement and um, lately well we know that it's dangerous and um, well, with an extreme, extreme control by, by authorities and, and police. And well, I like also this, this picture on the left, where someone's, this, this is small, this is small character from, from, it's from a, from a, from Yamasaki, it's a, it's a filmmaker that, well, it's a person from, from, from the nature that is, is always questioning what, what we are doing here. And well, uh, I, I want to, to, to show you with this, with this uh, scheme that, well, um, collective use is always about the cross-relation between identity, usability, accessibility, security, comfort, well, all the things that many of them imply the others have relations that are absolutely correspondent between, between the others. And it's important to talk about um, living labs nowadays because it's, a, it's one approach that makes people, users, private actors, knowledge institutions, being aware of the real life context and work together as stakeholders that need to give the solution. It's not something that designers, architects, no one alone are, are going to, to get this, this, uh, this sort of solutions to, to our problems. Um, well, then we, we, we have to pass to the next step that are the design issues. And all the factors that are inherent to the to the city and accessibility, user abilities, technological items, limitation, landscape conditions, functions, uses, there are a lot of requirements. And nowadays it has come to the first stage, safety and healthy. Now is a moment to live a global sense of community. We all agree that is the community who, in, in a whole sense, who is going to give more possibilities to, to, to life. One, uh, some of the design issues are going to be illustrated for, by some approaches. In this case, the image of the city. We know that the image of the city is not only about the buildings, it's not only about 
the, the, the organization of the space. It's not all, only about design. It's all them together what makes an image, an image of the public space and the potential of the object to define and shape our perception of the city. What's new, what's old, what is something to express innovation, what is careless, what is uh, innovative. Everything give, give to us an image of the city. And sometimes this image can be adverse or give an adverse impact on the public, public image. And sometimes it's, uh, it's positive, as we saw at the, at the beginning. But it's important, for example, here we can see uh, we can see how uh, sometimes the newspapers and all that gives an image of the city, what's going on, and what is the responsibility of these elements, in this case the urban furniture, to give quality of life and quality to these sort of spaces. The public space is, all, is also a place, a context for education and awareness. And we know that just to have some particular facilities gives a sense of awareness. Uh, teach the public of what they have to do. And also they make them to be more care, have more care with the, in this case, with the, with the rubbish and be be also aware of the possibilities of the possibilities of contributing to 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 the care of their cities um well i love this one this one i i took this picture like last year in madrid and it was just talking this this street sign is explaining that a uh, swing room swing gun sorry will take to be removed five years and just a sight, uh, a look to the to the nearest to the nearest trash trash bin is one second. Well I think it's 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 a good it's a good idea. It's something that that make us think of our role in in taking care of the things. And well, in this case, I, it's, it's also very interesting. That's, that was also last year. But it's, it has been, this campaign has been in all Spain. Uh, there were traffic lights with two men or two women as a support for social values and changes and just all, and also to pulse of more or less controversial ideas like this one we can see here this this small people not only a man always always in green well it's it's a difference and um, in this case well this is an, another approach that is one the, the one which is related with participation and expression i like very much um, to follow what's happening on 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 my neighborhood, this one is in the old city in Valencia, and well, this is an artist that likes to to make intervention, painting on the on the plant spot, or maybe this one is funnier, but well, it's also interesting. And in this case, just just trying to explain that people reject the cars at night in this neighbor at this neighborhood. And well, you know that this, this sort of participation, spontaneous and expression, makes some, some relation between people, between neighborhood, and something in a world scale. In this case, for example, well, this, this crochet movement that has been, well, in, uh, increasing their, their, um, influence all over the world and finally they got last year to have an international crochet day it's, it's amazing the the 12th september and well also this in all again in 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 central park in new york well where you have the free shakespeare in, free shakespeare in the park where people can share what they know about, about shakespeare 
or just make theater or it's, it's really interest, interesting. Um, well, next part of this presentation is just another, it's, it's around another question. What makes people feel comf comfortable outdoors? What do you think about that? Is something about ergonomics? Maybe, of course, if something is, is uh, an ergonomic solution, could be more comfortable. Uh, yesterday I asked my son, what is comfortable at, uh, for you in a city? And he um, briefly said, well, a bench has to be comfortable. Well, of course, but it's, it, there are a lot of things that could be or could, could um, perhaps make our sense of comfort at the city. For example, the availability of facilities, gardens, urban furniture, water, lighting, signage, a particular identity, the urban landscape or security, health, cleanliness, beauty, that they are not things, that they are other values. And well, all this, all this makes people be comfortable outside. And well, just see, just, we are going to see some, some examples where we, everybody knows this, this, um, this telephone box scene from London. And well, they are the image, the symbol of the city, and well, have got a symbolic meaning all over the world. Then, well, this is something that people get to be proud of it. It's the same thing in Barcelona. Everybody knows how these, how these buildings and how this architecture. And well, this is the the bench of park, the this mm, the park well. And well, so many, so many benches that have been inspired by, by this symbol of, of Barcelona. It's the same thing. But well, we can see that convenience, convenience could be hand by hand of the shapes, the softness, the great features of this, of this solution, for example, or maybe well, because we need a rest when we are exhausted, like in Times, Times Square last, last year, that this is an incredible, incredible facility on, at the middle of the city. And well, maybe also to have some good views of panoramics of a place, and we can see all the installation of these benches, at different sites and ev everyone can see the this beautiful this beautiful panoramic or maybe well people likes to have the possibility to practice to make some sports to be health or just they appreciate accessibility because it's something that gives some some plus some plus to to the public to the public space, to the public facilities. And we can see that, for example, uh, this application of Braille code at, at this signature about the gardens, explaining the plants, the sounds. Well, how this accessibility quality improves, improves the experience of the city and will make also city be more comfortable for everybody. And the last part will be just how to be aware of all these, these questions. In our point of view, it will be always from critical design. Critical design is a way of research or approach to be inno innovative, just to, to be open-minded to exploration, to experimentation, and to end users, not in the sense of giving solutions, but just making questions to the things that happens out 
around us. And well, I I enjoy or I choose this this example because it was was uh, the winner awards just last year in just one month ago from the Design Museum and it's the Tita Toto Wall that was was an intervention, an, an artistic intervention that make us think because it was installed, it, it was installed, it was an idea, an intervention installed uh, on the barrier, on the boundary created between USA and Mexico. And during few hours, children could play together in both sides of the world. And this is something that makes something very significant, something that make us think, that make, uh, make us feel that design can respond in a way to issues of social justice, spending, spending dis disciplines, and also giving some more quality to the public spaces and being hand in hand with design for social innovation. And well, uh, near to the end of, of this presentation, uh, critical design is always a way to follow, to go on, to think about the things we can do. Of course, this, this joke, I love this joke also, they say that we're well, doing nothing, staying at home, of course, but also we will need the COVID-19 has shown worldwide the need of public spaces, how people have been confined at home, closed at home, and how they have reacted when they have to go again outside, how people value na nowadays to be outside, to be in contact with na nature, with fresh air, with other, all the qualities that being outdoors mean, means. And so it is important that we, we understand that we need more possibilities to, to life outdoors. And we need to work on to experience with physical distancing more than with social distancing. Well, some, uh, some other approaches show that people love to contribute in a practical way to, to the sustainability of the environment. A lot of, of applications of the smart city, like this one of PaveGen, uh, have proved that people want to participate, want to to give their energy, to give their ideas, to share their, their knowledge with others. And well, we can ask, if, do we need more limits to feel safe outdoors? Or what we need is more culture? Or maybe we need more innovation, other innovative solutions to, to our recent problem? Well, I think it's, uh, that, it, that would be the way to, to follow up. And it is important to consider that, that life outdoors means safety, but also freedom. And when people is aware of the needs of the community, we will get good solution. And well, there are some some approaches, for example, this one, the Beach Bell Kit, that was just three months ago, or last summer. Well, just simple solutions to keep or to, to reduce anxiety on people using the same things, the same spaces, enjoying the places in a, in a new way. That's the thing. And well, of course, we, we have a lot of technologies that we can share and we have to implement in the, the open spaces like distance measuring, lights, colors, robots. Well, we have to, to introduce new ideas to make us aware and to make us more comfortable in, at the new normality. And well, uh, 
just for 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 giving some more good city practices well i i enjoy and I, I enjoyed finding last year in Ahmedabad uh, this uh, this backpack for garbage collection at the historic heritage work in Ahmedabad you can see here is it is this sort of solutions that make something cre that creates in this uh, in this case in this narrow street difficult to clean a way to give a solution to the problem and i'm sure that that this sort of, of things comes from people and well this is here in valencia and it's just the strategy and awareness raising campaigns for the city launched by our municipality asking what you want from your city and also in this one in the third one it's just a presentation of ideas you can present your ideas and people will vote them will vote in a platform um, a local platform and they can just say what they want and well some ideas from our students good academic practices that well in this case eco caving technologies and green engineering for the smart city and for sharing outdoors spaces and energies and well in this case it's just, it's just a public toilet using water from storage and reuse and well that well it's, it's another way to to give answer to the questions and the propo proposals of people when asking for for things that they would like to have and they would like to know also in this case is the Alga Energy. This is another project of a student that has been awarded in some competitions and was implementing green technologies in a service booth just to show users how this this technology work works. Sorry. And well, this is a spontaneous intervention in January in Valencia just one month ago, and it's nothing to do with doing something functional, but it's something meaningful because people love it and everybody was sharing these ideas on internet and was a new a new for everybody. And it was an, an a simple intervention just with the names of the of the streets and these play mobiles just trying to to explain in a figurative way the name of the street is really nice. And well, a summary, uh, I just would like to, to insist on the quality and social life outdoors that is very meaningful and significant at public spaces and that design has to deal with the complexity of public requirements and it's important because we are thinking about the commons and the methods of the living labs are, are giving a, an open approach to the complexity of the public space and also the critical design that will approach design research to all the, the, the different propositions that are are required by public spaces and that's all it's nice to have explained all this to you to share this with with uh, with your university and um, well you have my contact and i strongly believe believe on power to the people thanks a lot <laughs>
Thus, the customer has a variety to choose from. Second, since the product is integrated with concrete itself, the life is about three to five times longer than the traditional solutions like pavers and tiles. Third, low maintenance cost as repeated repairs are not required. Fourth, it is manufactured by using UV resistant color hardener, which retains the true shades of the color for long. Fifth, along with good appearance, the product also gives skid and abrasion resistance, thus useful for application in areas of high traffic or areas where kids, elders, patients access frequently. Sixth, faster work as it enables speedy construction. Benefits to the applicator and technical influencer. First, enables speedy construction, so applicators can finish faster and take other projects. Second, low after sales service as it has monolithic, which do not allow grass to grow through gaps. Third, contractor need not worry about performance as it is manufactured by using UV resistant color. Let's learn about its application process. The concrete shall be laid on a properly prepared non-porous surface. Ultratech decor is delivered to sites in transit mixers of 5 to 6 cubic meter capacity. At site, after laying and leveling of concrete on the required floors, the designated Ultratech applicators sprinkle color hardness on top of the wet concrete surface. After sprinkling of hardness, the concrete surface is traveled to ensure uniform monolithic coloring of the floors. Thereafter, the concrete surface is imprinted as per selected design using stamping mats. After hardening of concrete, joint cutting. At appropriate interval after hardening of concrete, joints are cut at designated distances. And sealing is done to ensure crack-free and properly protected aesthetic ultratech decor. 